Hello, it's Mihai again, with a new video about one of the many things you can do with DNN Sharp products. Today, I will show you how to use my tokens to generate a table based on information coming from your database. This is what I'm going to show you today. It's gonna be a table with three columns. This is just an example table that has three rows, but the output generated with my tokens will include a variable number of rows based on the parameter that we pass to the token. We're going to start by uh, creating one token that pulls the data from the database. I've already added my tokens on my page. You can also access it from uh, your uh, DNN menu. You can find it here. But for ease, I've placed it on my page already. Let's create the first token. Click on new token. This is the namespace test. I will call it get data from database. This is a database token. Let's click next. And let's type in the SQL query. It's gonna be select email first name and last name from table users where let's say username starts with a specific letter where username like token params and I'm gonna pass it uh, first letter as a parameter and percent so select email first name last name from users where username like some letter and percent this is the token that will generate our rows and based on the letter we pass it it will return one or more users. Next and save. That's one token. Now let's create another token that will uh, basically build the table. I already have one token here. which is called table let's see it this token for now only includes a table template it's a regular tem table template I'll show it to you this is the one it's containing a table head and a table body table head with three columns and the body has three rows now we only need one row because we're going to repeat it as many times as needed and I will call the first column email because that's what I selected from my table then first name and last name and now this row is going to be repeated for each row that we find in our initial token so for each something do this now that something we're looking for it's for each variable of type row in test it's our namespace and get data from database this is the token name now the get data from database token is expecting to see a first letter 
parameter something like this we won't hard code it because we want it to be dynamic and we're going to send it to the token as a token parameter let's say fl now here as table data we will use row dot and it's the column name generated by the initial token so it's gonna be a row email a row first name and row last name that should be let's copy this and go back to my tokens now to build the second token click on new script let's give it a name get table paste the content here remember this token we just built expects a parameter called fl save and now let's try them I'm getting an error here. I bet it's because I wrote row with capital letter. So this is the output table. Let's put it in action form and see how this works. Click on manage form. I, I've added a static text here in my form. And let's place the token here. Now let's pass the first letter parameter to this token let's get it from the query string of the page and you can do that by typing here query string first letter let's click save And now it's showing me all the users because my first letter parameter is empty. But if I specify first letter is T, we will only get the users that have usernames starting with T. The same for another letter, for H, it's bringing only one username, my host username. And you see how you can generate dynamic tables, actually it's a table with dynamic content with my tokens. I hope you like this video. Bye. See you soon.